Okay, so we're on Mythical, and on the upper left-hand side, we have a Misty Mountains being played by Vakatel. And on the bottom right, we have, ooh, weird lag spike there. Uh, Excelsior playing Woodland Realm. Maybe that would explain the lag spike. It, sometimes he doesn't have the best connection, and I think he was hosting this game. Yeah, he was on host. Okay. So we're going to see how this game goes. I was told it was good back and forth, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Okay, usual Misty Mountain start. What's actually interesting is that Misty Mountain players, I don't think they realize, like our tunnels are also based around the vanilla tunnels where you can enter from any side. So you don't have to have the like tunnel entrance rather uh, facing from the fortress. You can just have the tunnel entrance facing the other way. Okay, Excelsior going for the four farm start. Uh, a little bit standard here for uh, players from time to time. Yeah, okay, Vakatal doing a uh, wolf card and start. Very cool. Hey, Carl over here, Concrete, how you doing? So, yeah, Vakatal doing the wolf card and start against a four farm start of Excelsior is a pretty good thing because it's going to give him a little bit of a leg up here. Because uh, Woodland Realm also has to upgrade their clearing to level two for pike access. So, that's the big thing right here. So, Vakatal is definitely going to be in the lead. And, ooh, yes, nice. Okay, Goblin Cave. Goblin Cave with the Wolf Karn support. That's excellent. Thomas, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. And it looks like Vaki is going for the forward tunnel. Or is he just scouting? I think he might be scouting. And maybe he's not doing a forward tunnel. I'm not sure. Let's see. D Excelsior has not picked a tier one. But Vakatal has gone for Frozen Waste, so that's good. It's going to give him a leg up where it counts. And exactly as you see right there, the goblins are able to enter from the back. Okay, yep. Wargs are on the field. And right here, we happen to see... Okay, so yep. Howl going on the first shrine. Cool. He's not going to burn Frozen Waste here, I think, just yet. I think he's going to be smart about it. We see Excelsior is upgrading his clearing to level 2 for the pike access. So yeah, I think Vaki is definitely going to be getting uh, that shrine. Goblins going after the signal with there right here. Poison Blade for the additional damage. He'll probably get this tunnel. So First Blood, though, does go to Vakatal. Uh, yeah, Excelsior is definitely going to get that tunnel. Okay, oh, interesting. Excelsior doing early vineyards. A little bit different. What is he doing? This is very greedy. Very greedy economy start here for Excelsior. We see the forward tunnel dropping right over here on the bottom for Vakatal. And oh, Vakatal almost losing both war uh, packs right there. Not a good look. Very tricky. Oh, build RXD. Oh, you can see the build RXD. Nope. Wait, maybe, maybe? No way! Okay, nice back here. You got the build XD. Very nice. Okay, more warg pack support, maybe? We don't see the third pack coming in. Uh, but we do see the goblins on the Sylvan Pikes here. Blades active. So he still hasn't burned Frozen Waste. I think uh, now he's doing it. Nice. Okay, yep. Good, good. Nice, nice. I got this conch because it was sent to me. Okay, we got Excelsior's horse archers coming through. He's creeping. Let's take a look. Um, Vaki, 400 CP. Ooh, like the aggression here from Vaki. Woodland Realm, 350. Now, Woodland Realm's in this position, I'll just say it, because they did like a very greedy economy start. And then they didn't go for the fast uh, upgrade to level 2 on the clearing with the wolf Slow card in play here. Oh, but he was rushing Tario. Okay. Well, that's questionable. But, I mean, if it works, it works. I guess he needs to find a way to push back the war caress. Yep, he's committing. He's going to commit. Very nice. Cool, cool. Okay, we got two battalions of horse archers here for Excelsior. Nice. Vaka's got some really good aggression going right now. And we see the wolf pack right here. 
Oh, yeah, okay. So he's made the safe transition over for uh, Mountain Orc support as well. Nice, nice. So yeah, I mean, Excelsior's only gotten this like one tunnel so far. That was right over here. Avaki does have his builder inside, but also uh, Excelsior has not yet managed to take out this forward tunnel either. He's probably gonna get pressed back uh, right here. It would be cool actually to see the goblins just kind of go on top of Tariel, uh, but who knows? Okay, Sylvan Pike just chilling in the back of the base. Back to creep in the war glare. Is he creeping this one too? Yeah, he's gonna creep that one too. Not bad. Within Realm though, chilling at 2k in the bank, 375 CP. I think Excelsior is trying to hold out for heroes in the matchup right now. It doesn't look like he's too um, positive in expansion, rather. I know he did lose a builder, but he should have already made a builder by now. Um, so that's one thing. But I think he might be holding out for, like, heroes with this money he's saving up. Not gonna lie. Okay, five points of Woodland Realm, five for Misty. Ooh, nice. He's got the banner upgrade purchase from the Forge. Okay. And what's over here from Misty? We got, oh, yes, Frozen Waste Value. You're looking good. Okay, Ward Pack hitting that vineyard. Nice, nice. And first hero is, ah, uh, yes, excellent, excellent. So Vaki's grabbing Golfenbo because Golfenbo is going to basically counter uh, the horse archer play here that we see, I imagine. Uh, because of the base splash, I would imagine Vaki is going to be running Golfenbo uh, towards uh, the horse archers for sure. And he's going to be buffing the warg pack. Very nice. Uh, LV already posted that in the... Uh, discord so oh tario just point blank range of the uh mount orc pikes okay pretty dangerous is golfing bull still here nope golfing bull is chilling over here he's gonna maybe get some splash on the uh yes nice 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 excellent excellent splash on the uh horse arches there uh tario gets out half health okay Sammy Vaki, excellent start here by Vaki. Nice aggression. Oh, but he missed control. Unlucky. Missed control because the off host. Unlucky. It's never good when you lose uh, the mounted hero like that, especially golfing both this early. Um, I would definitely say to get one more goblin cave, though. You want three of your spam structure at minimum. But this was uh, pretty brutal, not going to lie. Losing Golfing Bull like that, quite brutal. But also, if his uh, tunnel was faced the other way, it could exit like around top of the clump. Not let them see. 625 CP for Misty, 425 for Woodland Realm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Within realm, 10 points here. Misty about to be 10. Mount Orcs on top. Elven King's patience dropped here. He could clump up a lot better on Tariel and basically kill her that way. That's that's the big thing. Is he going to be miscontrolled? No, he's going to get lucky. Oh, could he snipe? Is he going to... Oh, bro saved up for Legolas. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So Excelsior saved up for Legolas. That's the uh, typical shenanigans. But he gets the kill on Tariel. Very nice. We do see a level 5 warg pack, though. You don't see that every day. Yeah. He saved up for Legolas. That was probably going to be an, a very obvious thing um, for a Woodland Realm player to do. Okay, Vaki over here. Continuing the harass. Excellent. See, I mean, Excelsior is basically down to, like, two farms. This is great. Excellent harassment, Vaki. He's making, like, a forward farm and a well. Misty, though. 625 CP. Kind of at bay. Ooh, Felwind with the Legolas sweep, maybe? Uh, honestly, he should just use Felwind right now on Legolas. And go over and snipe him. If he can drop Felwind in the right spot, that's going to be key. 
Also, oh, not destroying the rubble? That's huge. That's definitely huge. Ooh, yes. Okay, Vaki's got lug. Very nice. Uh, but Legolas is still sniping. I don't think Vaki realizes uh, Legolas is just chilling here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Okay, we got Felwyn dropping, but I wouldn't use it yet. Take out the well. Drop Frozen Waste here. That'd be good. Nice. Is he going for... Oh, we got Muzgash too. Shit. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Legolas is all... Oh, Legolas could be... Lug does have Headhunter. We got Headhunter as well. Okay, okay. But we... this kind of depends on how Vaki manages everything right now. I mean, Legolas is off to... Oh, okay. Nope. I thought this was going to be on Legolas. Okay, Frozen Waste, Fell Wind. Where is... Uh... Where are the heroes? We got Lug, we got Muzgash. I don't know if he sees Legolas. Oh, okay, he sees Legolas. Yeah, he sees him. He sees him. Headhunter on Legolas. Okay, okay. Oh, Legolas is too safe, though. He's too safe. And Muzgash caught by the elves that woke them tree. Oh, yeah, Misty's got to pull out of here right now. This is, uh, this is a big L here for uh, Misty Mountains. Using the units, blocking the path. Not bad, not bad. And Legolas has Twin Strike come back any second now he's got to get these units into a tunnel and it looks like he's gonna get them into a tunnel very nice and yeah legolas and tyro try going right after them okay let's oh wait wait oh vaki going for a level two troll there very cool very nice yeah, I mean, he could also exit over from me. I think he... I don't know if he realizes... Oh, uh, he definitely realizes his builder was still in there. Okay. Uh, oh, he's going for bats. Interesting. I'm not sure why. But I would have gone for snow trolls. If he could get two battalions. Even Bulg's bodyguard. Oh, wait a second. Are we going to see Bulg's bodyguard? <gasps> Level three lodge coming in? Okay. We got scavenger too. I mean, Excelsior basically uh, do, trying to get past the, this wall here that Vaki's put up with very little uh, map control. 425 CP. Just trying to play around Tariel and Legolas. And, you know, oh, this is going to be nasty. It's going to be nasty. Too much of a clump. Too much of a clump. Lug backing away. Yeah. Oh, ooh, Twin Strike missed. He, uh, he must have. I don't know if he realized he missed the target. I feel like he was trying to go for Lug there. Dex, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. First time chatter. Scavenger here, though. Scavenger. Ooh, yep. The bat here in the back end. Uh, Muzgash here with Putrid Blade. Very nice. So, yeah. I mean, Vaki's doing a great job of pressuring Excelsior. Good job here. But, uh, unfortunately, that work back was definitely in the, you know, getting caught up. <gasps> oh, dude. Felwind is almost it's off it's cooldown. Just time it right. Time it right and get Legolas. Oh. See Lug there. Okay. Another bat coming in. Ooh. 775 CP of Misty. 554 of the Realm. Ooh. Okay. This has been a very interesting game so far. Uh, specifically because Vaki's doing great with her ass. Um, but Excelsior is basically uh, being camped a little bit. And he's not doing a whole lot. And he's only getting anywhere because of Lego Centario. Ooh. Is he going after the Builder? Builder Snipe? Okay, I'll look away. Thank you for the follow, Dex. Appreciate that. Ooh, okay. We got Elven King's Patience. We got Elves that awoke them and Horn. And Misty has Felwind. Okay, splitting. Very good. Ooh, and we see Twin Strike here. He's probably going to... Yeah, he's picking off Muzgash slowly but surely. Okay. And Legolas is now level seven. Okay, I, I'm, I, I am expecting Bulg's bodyguard. I'm not gonna lie to you. If he went for a level three lodge, I'm definitely expecting Bulg's bodyguard to come in. Four bats though. Is he trying to go for the heroes? It's a big investment. 750 a pop. How much CP? 50 CP though. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I mean the Legolas and Taro are giving uh, Excelsior nasty value. While being on the back foot most of the game here, too, with very little CP, that's for sure. Ooh, wait a second. 
And they, oh, they're both in melee. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. All right, all right, not bad. Not bad, I like that, it's cool. Still pawn, buddy, how you doing? Good to see ya. Oh wait, we do have Bulg's Bodyguard, fantastic. Okay, nice. Now we just have to see uh, Vaki use them in the right manner. I mean like, I, let's see, where's Legolas? Legolas and Tario are right over here. Headhunter, yes, 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 yes. Felwyn, yep, get the kill, get the kill. Get the kill on, yep, get the kill, Bulg's Bodyguard. Oh, no way. Oh, Elven King's, <gasps> teleport? Oh, Elven King's patience slowed down Vaki. Oh. Wait a second though, wait a second. He's got enough bats to maybe snipe to, oh man. Okay, we got piercing shots coming into play. He's definitely trying to go after Lug. Oh, the elves that woke them tree ends up getting a, oh God. Yeah, that's how Lug's going down. Lug's going down because he got knocked over. Ooh, not good, not good. Lots of filthy uh, plays here that we're seeing. Crazy. Lots of uh, lots of good plays we're seeing here. Excelsior now going for Thranduil, but Excelsior only playing around 550 CP though. This is something to really pay attention on. Uh, we see Vaki's got like basically map control, but Excelsior is uh, strictly playing around Tario and like a little 7.3.1 uh, action going on there. But I think if uh, Vaki were to utilize Snow Trolls, this would be different. Because if Snow Trolls are on the field, like all this entire will just get deleted. So it really depends on how he's going to continue playing this. Uh, Thranduil being here with Sylvans, though. But we do see the Royal Barracks here as well from Excelsior. So that's one thing to know. Let's take a look here. Teleport cooldown almost off. Yeah, he needs to get snow trolls like right now. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, so Legolas and Tario kind of uh, doing decent damage over here without Twin Strike. Just auto attacks and Bulg's bodyguards. Oh, wait a second though. Thranduil in the center here. And the bats are trying to get Legolas. Ooh, wait, Legolas is going to live? Yeah, nope, 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 nope. No way, no way. Legolas is going to die. Let's take a look here. He's neutral stance. He's taking a hot second. Oh, teleport? No way. Okay. I feel bad. Vaki should have gotten that kill. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, y'all. Vaki should have gotten that kill, but the teleport got Legolas out. Oh, but the bats got Radagast. That was so good. Nice, nice. Okay, we see a Felwyn, Frozen Waste, Scavenger. Okay. Now, again, look at this. Vaki's definitely got Excelsior pinned really well. We do see Farron on the field now, though. Thranduil level 2. Ooh, Bulk's here! Oh! Fell win with Headhunter? Okay, okay. Abyssians, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Ooh, ooh, excellent, excellent. Vaki getting the kill. Oh, what a great game. This is so good. Ooh. Okay, we got... Lug and Bulg here, excellent stuff. And we do have the Spear Slayers on the field. Oh, we're Worm, perfect. Okay, I forgot to look at the spell book real quick, not gonna lie. Um, we're Worm going to be tearing up this front line, I think. As long as he targets correctly, it's gonna be really, really good here. Is he gonna go right here? Nice, nice, okay, excellent. Excellent crowd control right there. Burn him, burn him, excellent. Okay, we got Bulg's bodyguards here still. It's still kicking three bats in the air. Okay, he's going at he's definitely going after that waystone. But the waystone will be off cooldown. Um Let's see. Waystone actually it's not off cooldown. Okay, excellent game here by Vaki. Excellent gameplay. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, Bugs Bodyguards coming on the front line like that. Six points here for Misty. Oh, this is so clean. I like that we're seeing like a different MM playbook here slightly. 
Let's see. Legolas? Def yeah, Legolas is dead. All the heroes are basically dead. Uh, Excelsior doesn't really have anything going for him right now. Okay, right over here, we happen to see... Nice, nice. Okay, yeah. He's trying... Okay, so he's using the Horse Archer's level 2 20% speed bonus to get some trample value in here. Pretty clever, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, yeah. He needs Siege, like, right now. Hold on, let's see. Is he going for Siege? He's upgrading to level 3. Okay, okay. Okay, Bats taking out the Vineyard. Excellent harass all around here in this game by uh, Baki. Excellent stuff. Okay, he just needs to get, like, proper Siege. I think Baki's golden, but we see Excelsior's got quite a few things in his spellbook here. Uh, he could put up a new Waystone. He's got Elven King's Patience. He's got Frumgar Summon. But he's got, also got his upgrades on the Mountain Orcs. Excellent stuff right there. Fellwind, Frozen Waste. Okay, okay. But the Mountain Orcs with upgrades, the stats are very, very good. Yep, he's going right on the fort. Okay, no Horn of Tauron to stun. But we do see, we do see that Bogue's got his Growing Hatred active. This is only really uh, affecting Dwarves though right now. Ooh. Legolas is on the field. Hold on, Legolas is back. Okay, Legolas is here. Oh, but the Frumgar summon comes in. Okay, okay. Ooh, excellent, excellent. Urshak was here too. Damn, I didn't even see Urshak on the field. Ooh, excellent game by Vaki right there. Excellent stuff. Very impressive. Love that game. 